Back with us are Jennifer and Ryan Walter, marriage and leadership experts. Let me ask you, Jennifer, about some of the miracles you've seen when couples who have had troubled marriages choose to commit their marriage to Christ. It's a beautiful thing to see um, the transformation that, ha that can happen. And that it's not always instant, but uh, couples that have just completely given up some of the conferences we've spoken at, for mm. instance, and they're coming as, you know, one of them is saying, okay, this is the last thing I'm doing. And that's it. I'm out of here. And seeing over the course of just working through things together, um, how that they, they get uh, their hope can be renewed. And uh, by, by the end of two days of solid um, kind of Bible based teaching and um, it, it's and prayer, it's amazing what God can do. And when you think of our um, the, the impact that has on the world for, for the all when that marriage gets renewed I and mean, the impact on their children, their friends, Mm -hmm. uh, unbelievable how uh, God really created marriage to be a picture of his relationship to the right. church. So the, the, the impression that that gives to the world is mm -hmm. unbelievable. I know, it's awesome. Ryan, you talked about coming to uh, Jesus. Really, for Ryan, the, the big influence mm -hmm. was the person, the friend he went to, Jean Paulo. He, he went to him because he knew Jean loved his wife who's a believer, but it was their marriage that actually showed him mm -hmm. uh, the love of Christ and it made him want it too. Wow, that is so cool. You know that it, it, it's interesting how you, how you mentioned about miracles and, and, and it sometimes takes time. I think about that, you know, we live in a society today where we, everybody wants a miracle to happen right away, but you know, marriage is about the long term. We have to put the work in it and then we see those miracles unfold. And uh, that was just my comment. But Ryan, I want to ask you, when is it time to seek counseling? Yeah, well, there, it's going to be different for everybody, for sure. Uh, Jenny and I actually did some counseling. Uh, you know, it was a bit of a, a tough spot in our marriage. And, you know, we'll... Which we, I blamed on menopause. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I like menopause, but I won't go into this right now. Anyway, uh, we, we had a, a real a bit of a rough spot communicating. And it went, uh, we were in a place where we felt like we needed some help. And I think that that's part of it is during relationship when you feel stuck, right? It's, it's great to get a third, uh, a third person sort of view on, on helping you keeping, you know, get moving and keep moving. And it worked out just great. I mean, it, it was a, a, a difficult time. It was a, maybe a hormonal time, uh, but, um, you know, we look back at it with, uh, you know, with fondness and with some fun. The other thing it gives us is it, it tells everybody across the world, and we want you to know this, that we don't have the perfect marriage, right? Like, like the, John Gottman says this, this is a great stat by Gottman that the masters of marriage. So there's what we you know try to be 60 years married, but thriving. They do two things that other people, us, don't do all the time. Number one is they chose they chose early on not to make each other enemies. Mm. I think that's a powerful thought, yeah. right? And then number two is that their positivity to negativity within their relationship was very high. They chose to be almost a 20 to one positive to negative. And that's a choice every day, isn't it? Because we can think of 20 negatives easily. Right. So, so I think that those are helpful as we think of, you know, coming out of counseling. We got some great thoughts, some great ideas, some great advice. But then it was up to Jenny and I to, mm -hmm. to really apply it. You know, I really appreciate you sharing that and being vulnerable because it is so true that no matter how good a marriage is, none of us are perfect, so we can't have a perfect marriage. We're all working full speed at it. And I want to bring Mike in now and see what he has to say. Well, you know, Ryan, as, as I'm listening to the two of you talk, I was going to ask you, is there a penalty box in your house? That's what the guys are wondering. Um, but Jen... Uh, Give us a couple tips on how to keep your husband out of the penalty box. What are the things that you need to hear from him? Well, I, we have a little phrase that, uh, 
that we call tapping in. And we actually do this in the corporate world when we're doing leadership training, when we're trying to teach good communication skills. Um, and that is, we have learned that for him and for me, that it's not good to keep anything in. So uh, we, we need to check in with each other. And, and I need Ryan to actually, you know, tap in with me and say, there's something that, that um, I just, you know, I, we wanted, I think we should talk about here. And, and that doesn't have to be really serious or long, but it's super important that, that we don't um, allow things to become heavy because we kept them inside because mm -hmm. we're a team and good teams know how to tap in about the good and the bad and just frequently. So I guess um, I'm making time to tap in and, and, and that includes like undistracted. Here's a little tip for husbands but, um, and wives, but they, there's something that's actually called the iPhone effect when it comes <laughs> to communicating. And that is that if you're, even if your phone is turned off, if it's sitting there on the table while you're talking, it's going to hinder the communication that we really need our devices completely away and, um, and just talk to each other. Wow, that's really interesting, the iPhone effect. Well, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get rid of my phone right now. <laughs> I just hit my microphone, I did it all, but you know what, the point's been made. Um, hey, you know what, it is so wonderful yes. to have you both on the show, uh, Jennifer and Ryan, and we're gonna talk to you tomorrow as well as we continue part two on marriage as we uh, take our phones, we put them down, and we listen <laughs> intently.